Hey everyone, welcome back to more Rain Code, and it's been a week, I'm back, I barely remember what we were doing, we were solving the Nailman case, we got Halar to help us out, we talked to the church people, and I'm pretty sure we were gonna go investigate the previous crime scenes or something. So, this tree is big and majestic and all, but there's something unsettling about it. That's true. I think it's because of how twisted and distorted it is. Alright, cool. That's a cool looking tree. I love the design. It's really nice. But, uh, yeah, I do not remember where we were. <laughs> Genuine, I mean, you know, I remember the basics of what we were doing. I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna follow the yellow, the yellow thing on the map, because I'm pretty sure that's gonna lead us to where we're supposed to be. Secret club. Ooh, illegal members in the casino. Ooh, that's gonna be important, surely. Scene rates and cheating is it? That's definitely gonna be important at some point. We're oh yeah, we're going to the secret club because that's where one of the crimes took place. I remember now. Metal fox, what was that? Um, Halara, I've been thinking. Oh, that person in the background just appeared <laughs> out of nowhere. The first incident was six months ago, right? If we go to the crime scene now, there's nothing left to investigate. You think it will be a waste of time? There's no need to worry about that. So, you have a plan then? What? <laughs> no! You're this is a Halara nightmare. Of course. What more could yeah, you possibly plan. ask for? Now, let's be swift. Huh? Right. I don't really get it, but talk about confidence! I mean, clearly they're the more experienced of the two, so we're just gonna There's follow their lead. Club. Well, it's somewhere on the map. Oh, I, I see it. I see where it is. Although, should I do some quests first? Maybe. I, there's a quest back there. I kind of want to see what that's about. It's Hello, to I'm gonna phase place. through everyone. I'm just gonna phase through everybody. Hello, this is a quest. Hi. Oh, what do I do? How could this happen? Hmm? What's the matter? Please help me. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh. <laughs> You're looking as bad as ever. For now. Anyway, let's just see what she has to say. Someone stole my purse. Really? A purse snatcher? Of all the crimes we could be stopping, I tried talking to the peacekeepers, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Could you please help me find the person who snatched my purse? Aww. That's shockingly petty for this city. Boy, those peacekeepers really are useless. Say. What you gonna do? Are you gonna help her? Yeah, sure. Search. Yes. No problem. Let me handle it. Really? Thank you so much. <laughs> but we can't leave to him this to a mere trainee. You better follow my lead on this one. <sighs> Self-centered as always. Uh... Could you tell me what the purse snatcher looked like? Well, he was wearing a navy blue jacket, glasses, and white pants. Oh, he also had a white mask. A white mask? Okay, then. Wait up. A mask. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. So he's wearing like a ma uh, like a surgical mask or whatever. Okay, then. Cool. So he's all blue. I mean, that doesn't really help. Most people in this place are blue. That really doesn't. Oh wait. Uh, no. That that mask's not white. Hang on. I'm counting on you. That mask is not white. All right, we're just gonna have to go around looking for everybody. Uh, up here, hang on, let me just check to me. Yeah, you. No, you're not. You're not it. Oh, you, there we go. Hello, you don't have a mask, I don't see it. Ch uh, um. um. He's just glaring at us. Well, let's not talk to this guy. Right. Okay, creepy. You're not even- oh wait, you have a mask, but you're not wearing, like, blue. Hmm? Is this the purse snatcher? Is it? Hang on, I have to remember- no, he was wearing, like, a blue jacket as well, right? It wasn't white, was it? I'm gonna say it anyway. You're the culprit. You must be the person- oh god! <laughs> purse snatcher? What are you talking about? Huh? That navy blue jacket is oh, wait. <laughs> Do I, like, lose points for this? My jacket isn't navy blue. S sorry. sorry, seems like I got the wrong person. Jeez, talking about rude. Okay, so I don't think I lose anything. 
<laughs> hey, you're alright, Master. How's that manhunt coming along? Uh, uh, I'm fine. That's how Lara's just following us around. <laughs> Even when we're doing things completely unrelated to the case, we can go to the restroom. Oh no, you're going into the men's room with poor defenseless little me right here! <sighs> we can't go in because it's being cleaned anyway. Alright, uh, you, nope. There's, okay, I'm pretty sure they're like up there or something. Maybe? You! Hello. Hmm? That's not navy blue either. No, it's not this person. I'm gonna say it anyway. It's the same person. You're the culprit! You're the... Bird snatcher? You're wrong! I'd never mug anyone! Huh? Those white pants are pro- oh. <laughs> There's no way these pants are white. It wasn't me. S sorry. Yep, got the wrong person. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna- I hope I don't like lose any like points or anything. Oh, thank goodness. You scared me half to death by jumping out of nowhere like that. <laughs> Strike two! You really sure you got this? One more and you're out- Oh, okay, is it actually one more and I'm out? Okay, I'm gonna be serious then. No, sorry. Worry. I'll be serious this time. <laughs> one more and I'm out. Oops. Okay then. And there's two more people. Uh, oh wait, navy blue jacket, white pants, hello, you, it's, it is you. Yeah, white circle, it's this guy, this is the guy. <laughs> this has to be the guy. Pretty sure this is it. There we go. You're the culprit. You must be the purse snatcher. Damn, guess this is the end of the line. Why? Really? I guess this is the end of the line. Some kid, some weird kid wearing like, <laughs> with no like police uh, affiliations. Just caught me, man. I can't. It's not like I can just like run away when there's, you know, a path right there. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. I got no money for food, no money for meat buns. The meat buns. It was for the meat buns. I'd steal the purse and sell it. It's the damn peacekeeper's fault. Hmm? The peacekeeper's fault? You're damn right. They extort us every chance they get and call it security tax. Right. You know that gold tooth swank only cares about money. Damn it! I won't let him catch me. Those peacekeepers will never get a hold of me. Whoa. Oh, there we go. He's actually running. Whoa! They got away. Yeah, he's getting away, Master. Say. You're not gonna chase him? Sure. We got the bag back, didn't we? For now. We should hurry back to the to the client. On. Come on, that's it. Right when things are getting interesting. Well, at least we, took, we got our quest. No, that's not our problem now. Oh, is that my bag? You really got it back for me. Uh, yes, but I'm afraid the culprit got away. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm just so happy to have my bag back. I really appreciate it. No. Right. Alright, that's another quest done. Hey, you look pretty gloomy for someone who just pulled off a successful job. What's up? Oh. Is it because you're upset you let the criminal get away? Uh, if I had caught him, I'd just have to hand him over to the peacekeepers. There's no telling what would happen to him then. Come on. He got what he deserves! A detective letting the criminal go free is disgraceful! You're the one who kills the criminals every time. <laughs> I'm not sure to... Yeah, but I can't just, just can't do it. Oh, master, you're such a coward! Man. Oh well. Uh, back to our task at hand. I suppose we're going back now. This way. This this way, we cannot get past this. Okay, well, this I guess we'll just go under it. Crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months. No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault. Oh wait, are you really just gonna cut? Damn. Okay, well. Is that what Shinigami's laugh sounds like? What is that? Secret club, here we are. Okay, the metal fox religion. Oh yeah, that's the yeah the metal fox is the religion. The fox Bible. <laughs> oh, here we are.
Uh, let's explore around here first. What do we got? Gains j super jackpot! Oh, this one's broken. Okay, then. This is a very small room. Oh, well, that's... Okay, so they were nailed to the wall. Alright. Also, isn't this breaking and entering? If anybody catches us in here, we are just doomed. The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found around here. Oh. The victim's name is Suguma Iho. Suguma Iho. An old man who owned this place. Okay. His reputation left much to be desired. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. Yeah, I read that in the description. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. You just did all this research in the like 30 minutes we were gone. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. Hmm. So yeah, the locked room mystery, just like all of them. The door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. No windows? The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside? Yeah, it's another locker room mystery. Yep. Okay, okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yo, they are really slamming us in the face with the fact that it's all locked room mysteries. Like, they cannot go two seconds without mentioning it. We don't know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. What conditions? Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, right, your ability. Let's go. Oh, your forte. My forte is post-cognition. The power to see the past. So you can just see, like, what happened? However, it can only be used at murder scenes. So I guess, like, the, the dead body emanates some kind of aura that you can use for your ability. To be precise. Or I whatever. I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Uh -huh. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. That's not easier to understand, but all right. Amazing! It's like the perfect form. I mean, I got it. I know what it's about. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Hmm. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. All right. The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. How does that even work? I mean, you know, it's, a, it's you know, it's like some of these abilities are kind of weird. Like, how would that even work? When it comes to but, my power, yeah. the witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. All right. Oh, sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. How many? It's I mean, the mystery labyrinth. there's bound to be a bunch of contradictions. The crime scene in your mind. But now it's done in the real world. Yep. Although it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. But still, it's amazing. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. I don't so got there? nothing. Shut now it. I'm angry. Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? What the hell? Can you, you can do that? Alars Forte's voice cognition. All right. So we're going to do it now? Hello. What? I'm investigating. Don't know if you... Oh, okay, okay. Look around the scene in the real world until I'm done using my voice cognition. Okay, cool. I, I thought you one could like sense the abilities and stuff. Are we not? I guess they're not done yet. Hey, Shinigami, how you doing? Post cognition. I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. Well, do I have some good news for you? What is it this time? Master, 
try to remember. Did you yeah, hear you can about use the Amaterasu Express? We can like see the other people's Hello. abilities. When the other master detectives use their powers? This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. You're showing a picture of Poochie, but alright. Somehow it yeah. feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. All right, all right. right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. That's your power, I suppose. Yes, that's in it. a way. Maybe your coalescence will work now. Coalescence. All right, we got a name. Coalescence. Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. So I guess we can use it too. Wait. Then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's amazing! Is this your ability, Shinigami? No, it's yours, probably. Uh, is something like that? Oh, there are conditions? conditions for it to activate. I never. You conditions are never good. To share their ability. Yeah, right. What? Kiss Halara? Ha! I lied. Yes. <laughs> Why did you blush? Did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara is a boy or a girl. Yeah, so apparently Halara is canonically non-binary. I oh, think. Quit messing around and tell me how it works. We need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then you right. must hold hands while the ability is active. Cool. All and right. That's it. Okay, I can do that. Hey. <laughs> hey, Halara, hold my hand real quick. <laughs> um, Halara. Hmm. Halara? I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. Oh, 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 okay, we're just explaining everything. <laughs> Coalescence. Hold hands. You... And me. Yes, that way I'll be able to see the past too. I think. My sources made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Trust me. <laughs> Source, yeah, dude, trust I me. Just remembered I had it. <laughs> I just remembered it. We don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Just. <laughs> oh, um, it's not like that. I despise you. Damn, okay, wait, whoa, hold on. Just the thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. Is this a test? I didn't know you hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. I hate everyone. I despise all of humanity. Yeah, <laughs> actually. I don't trust anyone except the dead. Wow. <laughs> I had a feeling. Halara must be a demon straight from hell. Oops. I'm sorry about that. I actually, I just realized what was wrong with, yeah, okay, hang on. Uh, um, I, hopefully the audio is fixed now. I think the game audio was going weird. I'm sorry about that. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As oh I god, I'm really sorry. I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Okay then. Then please, hold my hand. It's necessary for the investigation. You can add this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then, right? Hmm. Yeah, for the money. <sighs> Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. Sweet. Let's do it. Wow, okay, you're actually just terrified. What is happening? <laughs> Let's do it! Oh, I love the eyes. I love the different eyes every character has, depending on their ability. Okay, oh, that's a, that's a thing. Oh god, the doll! Okay, here we are. Oh, I can see it. 
everything looks different than a moment ago. Incredible. So this is post-cognition. Yeah, that's a trailer line. Hello. Can you really see it? So yeah, that's our ability. This is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, this does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Well, that's fine. We'll, we Very can do well. it. Go ahead and Look at this music! Me. Tell me this doesn't sound exactly like uh, Ikaroshia from Danganronpa 2. Like, look at this. Me? If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. All right. Well, this is quite the bizarre crime scene. Yeah, I mean, there's dolls the everywhere. Crime scenes uh, we haven't seen the rest. When you work for the WDO. Now, let's see what you're capable of. All right, let's go. So we're just gonna walk around with our hand. All right. Oh wait, we're not. What? Oh, well, I guess now we're investigating the regular, the current one. Vent! Air vent! Hello. That's... There's a vent here. The four corners of the cover are screwed down, so I don't think it will open. I doubt the cover can be opened when it's like this. But... It's too early to conclude there's no useful information. Compare it with, with what was seen in post-cognition. Right, I'll give it a try. Alright, but I... Oh, you can just... I can just, like, turn on post-cognition like that? Oh, alright, I see, I see, I see. Oh, okay, yeah, uh... That's... I see a body. Well, yeah. Ooh, what are those rings he's got? This definitely looks Letters about like the body we saw before. Silent. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor. Ah, uh, yep. And a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. Look at this dude, he looks like a vampire. This all feels like a dream. It doesn't seem real. Also, yeah, the pink blood. It's on there are abnormal decorations all around the crime scene. So so quiet. Yeah, the the arcades are probably turned off, so there's no music or anything. Uh, okay, so let's just look at the corpse for now. Hello. It's a man's corpse. He's probably around sixty years old. His body yeah, is looking good for his age. against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. Oh, there are marks on him. Signs that he was strangled. Just like the other corpse. And just like the other corpse, there's also the weird scratch marks on his neck, too. The vertical scratch What's marks that about? were probably made when he resisted. Mm, yeah. The most basic of basic observations. <laughs> I well, didn't make that observation. You know Good God. That's thanks to everything I taught you at the clock tower. <laughs> An awesome mentor. This situation is identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death, and then decorated the room afterward. But why? Okay. What else we got? The dolls. What are these really creepy dolls about? Oh man, I got, yeah, I got a bunch of skill points actually, I, I should probably do something with that before we go into the labyrinth eventually in a few episodes. Sure enough, the secret club has dolls nailed to the wall too. Yeah. That must be the nail man's calling card. They're nailed into the wall seemingly random, facing all directions, so I can't find a pattern. There's nothing that can be con connected to the culprit, let's try checking someplace else. Alright, uh, is that, oh yeah, the vent. There's no way we could reach that, right? Hey, this hey, vent. This... The cover is in place, but it hasn't been screwed on. I love the visuals in the background, looking like Doctor Who. Which means it could be easily removed, right? What are you doing? You can't touch what you see in post-cognition. Even if you happen to be three meters tall. <laughs> oh. I see. Well, I mean, if you stop I using post animation, we can go to the vent point. and just see it, right? Just touch it. The vent is about 40 by 30 centimeters. A thin adult can probably pass through. But, like, 
even a tall adult couldn't reach up that high to get to the vent. I don't know. I mean, then again, imagine maybe you could use the nails as like step stools or something. That could work if you like use the nails as a ladder because they're they're very conveniently leading up to the. Look, look how how the nails are conveniently like leading up to the vent. Somebody could have just used these to climb up, maybe. That I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitballing, but that might have been something. All right, pretty sure that's about right it. Away, you are. Did you notice the nail below the vent? Below the vent? Oh, I think Halara has caught onto what I think too. Huh? Some of the nails are bent downward. Well, maybe they were hammered in a hurry. They were stepped on. Ah, oh, did I call it? Or perhaps there's another reason. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Another the killer reason? used the nails to climb up to the vent. Yes. Cool. Okay, let's check what else we've got. This. Uh, let's just look at the regular one first. That's. There's a roulette table. It probably hasn't been used since the incident. It's covered in dust. There don't appear to be any clues on top of this roulette table. Hmm. There's nothing underneath either. We should check someplace else. Right. Let's do that. All right. Post cognition. Let's do it. Hold my hand. Oh, boy, hang on. So this is how it was. Yeah. Yep, there's dolls. All right, let's do it. Hmm? Was this moved during the incident? As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem related to the case. Yeah. Yeah, let's check another place. How about this? Maybe this one? That's... There's a doll nailed to the roulette table, too. I see. There's also a doll nailed here, right in the middle of the roulette wheel. The doll itself seems to be the same as the others. There doesn't seem to be anything noteworthy. That is, in and of itself, sufficient knowledge. Let's check someplace else. Alright, that should- yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, uh, how about the counter? Uh, There's a glass on the counter. It has a thin layer of dust, so it could have been there since the incident. Hmm. The key was in the glass at the time the body was discovered. If you want to investigate, we should use post-cognition. Right, got it. Let's do it! What do we got here? A key! Oh, there's a key in the glass. Is it the key to the room? Hmm. Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, the security was extremely tight. There's only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. If it was thrown in from outside the vent, it wouldn't be inside the glass. So this is definitely another locked room mystery! Yes, we get it, game. This is a locked room mystery. Okay, so it's inside a glass counter. Uh, let's look at this then. Yeah. Slot machine is spotless. Looks like it was well taken care of. There's nothing here of interest. Yeah. Seems that way. Let's check someplace else. Right. Uh, okay then. Uh, anything else? Maybe look at the door? What does that mean? When the body was discovered, this door was locked from the inside. There's no other way into or out of the room. In other words, it's a locked room. Yes! Oh my god, shut up about that. <laughs> the lock is broken. Maybe someone broke it and forced their way in. Like at the clock tower. But from the looks of it, there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered with. Alright. Okay, wait, that did not mean to do that. This, okay, this chair was just completely That's... knocked over. This chair is knocked over. Could this be evidence of a struggle between the victim and the culprit? Hmm. I don't know about that. The culprit could have knocked it over on purpose to throw off the investigation. There's not much we can get from it other than the fact that it's a knocked over. Let's check so. Oh god, sorry. Let's check elsewhere. Right. Anything else we can get from here? No. Doesn't seem like it. Okay then. I think that's about it. I think I've checked what I can here. And all right, an investigation. Let's do it. Done. We did it. That should do it. 
There isn't much else to investigate. I've never experienced this before, but it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post-cognition. It's exhausting to explain what I see to a client. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. You could easily you could easily just make stuff up and then nobody would even be able to tell. I suppose Fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Gima District. Right, still got two more places I to go. I have an idea of where to go. Let's hurry there. Yep. Yeah, cool. Good night, I'll sleep until noon, even when there's work to be done. Yeah, he just likes to sleep. Drone Brella, so cool. I love the drone Brellas, they're so awesome. Alright, let's keep on the going. The building we're heading to is access the district. Let's hurry there. Gima district, so I'm just gonna fast travel there. Cause actually, since we're here now, uh, let's go ahead over to the abilities because we got some more skill points that we can get. So uh, I'm just gonna get all of this. So endless summer during Shigami sequences, slow down the rotation. Cool. Equip. Solution key sequence, remove one incorrect solution key. All right, and we got one more. Yep, and let's go kind of I mean reasoning deathmatch assist ability recovers even faster. All right. Yeah, that works So we got this entire row now Cool, so yeah, we don't have any more SP Hold on though. Yeah, we don't have any more SP so we can't get anything else uh, So this sounds about right All right, that's that Let's go to the map then to the Ginma district. The meat bun shop. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's uh, follow where the map goes. Hold on, this way. Oh, people just disappear. Through you, through you. Oh, hello. Flavor text. Sounds like someone punched a peacekeeper at the clock tower. Ooh. Damn, what an idiot. <laughs> right. <laughs> you look so guilty, Master. Gee, I wonder. Yeah, this is where the next yeah, this is where the next crime took place. K colon is the kid, yep. Alright. Another request. Should we go ahead and do it? Maybe. I think we might as well. Hmm? Hmm? That person. Say. What's wrong, Master? Uh, doesn't she seem a bit uneasy? Like she might fall over any moment? I don't know, she seems pretty sturdy. She looks like a statue right now. Legitimately not even moving at all. Oh, no, she's moving. You really can't help yourself when it comes to the ladies, can you? <sighs> it isn't like that. Talk. Um... Excuse me, is something wrong? You seem upset. Uh-huh, who are you? I'm... I'm kind of a detective. <laughs> In training? <laughs> a detective, I see. Well? So, something wrong? 
Well, actually, I've run away from home. And I'm at a loss about what to do next. Mm. Ooh. Ooh so this cute. smells like a case. Let's hear her out, Master. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right. I should avoid getting involved, but I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I just left it alone. Well? Could you give me some more details? Well... I'm the daughter of a merchant who, who does business throughout the Kan throughout Kanai Ward. Due to the family circumstances, it was decided that I would have an arranged marriage. Thinking of what's best for my family, I should accept a proposal. But my suitor is an awful person. I heard it with my own ears. He said he was only using my father. Huh? huh? Then why not talk to your father about it? There's nothing I can do without proof. Besides, my father is very keen on him. When I told my father I didn't want to get married, he yelled at me and said I shouldn't cause trouble. I see. So that's why you ran away from home. Aww. Ugh, how lame. Let's get out of here. I no. love Shinigami. I can't do that. Having to marry an evil man sounds terrible. Leaving home has given me some time to think. I want to try talking to my father. But if I went back now, I don't think we could have a civil conversation. I'm terribly sorry to ask, but could you take this letter to my father for me? I'll reward you for your trouble. Does this chick think detectives are errand boys? Hmm. We can't just leave her like this. Huh? That's my master simping over every woman he meets and making their wishes come true. <laughs> wow, they actually use the word simp <sighs> in this game. It's not like that. All right. Okay, I'll help you. Thank you so much. My father should be in front of Kanai, Kanai Station around now. Hey. It'd be a good idea to ask what he looks like, right? The station is a busy place after That's all. True. It's true. Uh, what exactly does your father look like? He should be wearing a suit, navy blue from the head to toe is his favorite. Alright. I see. I see, thank you. Suit, alright, cool. Uh, so, Kanai Station. Guess we're going there. Sorry, mansion, but you're gonna have to wait. I love the hell Lara's just following us around while we're doing all these pointless quests. I want to do all the side quests, though. I want to try and see- I, I want to do everything this game has to offer. I want to do all the quests, I want to get as much- Like, I want to get as many collectibles as possible, which actually, I do need to start exploring more, too. Huh. Because I want to try to keep unlocking the, uh, gumshoe gab things. Where the heck am I supposed to go? To the station, I suppose, but where is that? So where are there two yellow check marks now? Is it this way? Oh wait, where am I supposed to go? Hello. I'll pro it'll probably die before see I see the world beyond these tracks. Living out your whole life confined in Kanak Ward is a lo lonely proposition, don't you think? Uh, uh, I guess so. <laughs> of course you don't get it, Master. You came from the other side of the tracks. Alright. Yeah, man, this place really is like a the prison for everybody. Where do I go? I don't know where to go. I'm... Hang on, view area map. Hello? Where am I supposed to go? This way, maybe? Maybe, probably. I'm guessing. I'm gonna go in there. Interior! Alright, let's go back. In here. Ah, there we go. Hello. Oh, there he is. Oh! A completely navy blue suit. Could this be the merchant girl's father? Hmm? Is this- is the man with him the client's suitor? Hmm? I bet he is. He even looks evil. No. You can't tell just from appearances. Anyway, let's try talking with him. Um... Uh, excuse me. Huh? Who are you? If you don't mind, we're in the middle of an important conversation. Uh, I have a letter for you from your daughter. 
What did you say? You know my daughter's whereabouts? Well? Yes, but would you please read this letter first? You're not actually listening to this guy, are you, sir? I'll see for myself. What did the letter even say? Without a doubt, her handwriting. There must be some kind of mistake. I would never mistake my daughter's handwriting. I'm afraid that if what's written here is true, this marriage cannot be allowed. Or you're just gonna believe. Wait! She talked to you about it. In person. She went up to you and said, Okay, this guy is sketchy and I don't want to marry him. But then you didn't believe her. But then some random kid comes to you with a letter from her. And no matter how real it looks, it's still just a letter. And you believe it immediately. That's stupid. Bye. And I almost got away with it too. If it weren't for you meddling kid and your ghost mentor. Huh? He's not even trying to hide it. He sounds like some second-rate cartoon villain. Yep, that's... yeah. No point in playing pretend anymore. Scams over the moment. He looks like the doctor! Oh no, he looks like David Tennant. <laughs> Don't you doubt you. Later, chumps. Bye. Whoa. Hey, wait! There's no need to follow him. Thank you for delivering this letter. No. Ah, it was nothing. I'll try talking to my daughter. Allow me to properly thank you another day. Yes. Sure. For now. Let's go report to the client. All right. Well, that's that's that. We did that. We did a request. That was kind of stupid, but oh well. And that's what happened. I don't think you'll have to worry about that arranged marriage anymore. Really? Then my father actually believed me? It, the... it, I, I'm baffled by how he actually believed that, but... I think I'll go home now. Thank you so much for everything. Hmm. I hope it goes well. well. We did our part. Who cares what happens next? No. We're involved now, so I'd like for her to be happy. Oh, I get it. That must be the way of the simp. <sighs> Why do you keep calling me that? Paired with the dev. All right, cool. Uh, let's just... I guess we'll keep going now. We're back. We're in Gideon Magician. Let's just do, like, the next crime scene investigation, and then we'll end off the episode. Here we are. What is this? E.T. with the tubes coming into the house? I wonder if that's the second crime scene. That's probably it. Let's go inside. Yeah, that's not it's gonna get you in. As expected. Oh my god, dude, Holar is amazing. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> they just they just do it. They... No regard Wait. for anything. It's amazing. <laughs> it looks like a haunted mansion. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. I'm not even gonna comment anymore. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. Is there some kind of pun there, Ali Hohen? I don't know. He had no family and lived alone. The mansion is now empty and dilapidated. The crime scene is- God, imagine living back. alone in a mansion. Let's that go. sounds sad. <laughs> this massive house, but there's no one else there except for you? I don't know. It just feels really boring and sad. Oh, uh, yep. No regard. The Nailman killings had another common factor. Oh, here we besides go. Besides the locked room. The first person to find the body was always the same Yep, it was person. always uh, that dude with the blue hair whose name I don't remember. That worshipper from church? Oh yeah, the worshipper. Did he didn't have a name. him too? What he said did make sense. He's been obsessed with the Nailman and had access to the names of potential victims. Mm -hmm. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. 
I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. That's right. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Let's go. Ha! Think you're partners now? Just because you held hands with my master? I'll have you know, master and I are connected on a much deeper level. I love the little sprites, dude. This face is so derpy. It's great. Don't make it sound so suggestive. Feels All right, like here we go. Scares coming up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm walking around to see if I can find anything interesting, any Easter eggs or something. All right, this so should be the this room, is I guess. The study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here too. There's nothing left here either. It's all cleaned up. Well, that's what post condition is for, and there's the body thing. I don't want to do the it, outline. But I suppose I can share my post cognition again here. She, uh, they, they definitely have like some kind of, uh, trauma, with like trusting people or something, because that reaction from before was not normal. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. All right, let's do it. So there's an aquarium. There's a bunch of fishies. All right. That's true. Oh god, what are those spider webs? That looks really bad. There are fish in the tank. It doesn't seem like they've been cared for since the owner was killed. They're looking pretty bad. Are they? I mean, I guess because <laughs> the graphics definitely don't show that. But inside the tank, some kind of secret passage, really? Yeah. Would be interesting. It doesn't appear to be related to the case. Okay. Got a lamp. Yeah. It's a lamp. The light's on right now. Say. Make sure to use proper lightning. Lighting in, in addition to these kinds of lighting. What? Make sure to use proper lighting in addition to these kinds of lighting as eye strain may occur. Okay. Who are you talking to? The audience, I guess? I didn't really understand that very well. Oops. There's a light switch. I'm guessing this turns on and up. Oh! Oh, a projector. Oh, no. Is this some kind of weird puzzle? Okay. Uh, that's gonna be something. So there's a thing on the wall now. Can we not, like, look at the projector thing? Alright, well, painting. Oh! Landscape paintings and extravagant frames are on display. All of these paintings look incredibly expensive. However... They're counterfeits. Not a single one is genuine. Doesn't look like there's anything relevant to the case here. Let's investigate elsewhere. Uh... It's a carefully organized bookshelf. Looks like all the novels belong to the same series, the Goin Saga. That's a reference to something, surely. Yeah. I believe this series has more than 150 volumes. Unfortunately, the author has passed away. It's a shame the story never saw an ending. Alright. Uh, yeah, we should probably start using post-cognition, maybe. I'm gonna turn off the, uh... I'm gonna turn off the weird sky projector thing, because I wanna... start... Hang on. Let's just turn that off, because I wanna use post-cognition here to just see... All right, let's uh, look at this with post cognition now. Not that wrong button, the other one. Hello, hold my hand. Here we are. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. Yeah, that's it that's how it works. Silence, More dolls. As though awakening from an eternal slumber. I swear to God, I heard hints of the Danganronpa body discovery like theme. In there, like the uh, like the little screams. The corpse will never wake up again. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. Rise. The door is the only entrance and exit to the room. Okay, locked room. The windows and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Does it? 
I don't really want to look at that thing very often, but all right. Oh! Several dolls have been nailed to the floor. After the clock tower and the secret club, this makes three. It doesn't make it any less creepy, though. It's me. Now's not the time to show fear. Investigate thoroughly and find the clues to solve this case. Right. I see. The dolls have nothing in common, and I don't see any unusual markings either. It appears. Nothing to do with the case, then. What does that mean? There's an expensive looking landscape painting, but it's tilted. I wonder why. Could this be related to the locked room? It appears. Doubtful. Judging by the marks on the wall, I'd say this painting was hung at an angle. Peacekeepers must have altered it by mistake during the investigation. How confusing. There's a shelf. I mean, we can still look at this. Uh... So there's a book that's We've already seen this. No indication the books have been moved. I don't think they're related to the case. Hmm. I agree. Let's look somewhere else, okay? So that's all there is here. Oh, wait, there's books on the desk now. Hmm? Two extraordinarily thick books are placed on the desk. It doesn't look like they, the books were stacked when the body was found. Well, The peacekeepers must have stacked them. Good grief, what a bunch of amateurs. Placement seems to be the only thing that's changed. I don't think this will help with the case. Alright, uh, that's about all we can see here. Let's look at... Oh. Yep, yep, we got it. Okay. Uh, All these books are lined up so neatly. Hmm. They're covered in dust. Nobody's touched them for a long time. Meaning they won't help us with the case. Yeah. Even in the past, several books lined the shelf. I checked, but it doesn't seem like anything's different between them and now. Then and now. In that case, it's probably not related to the case. Okay then. Uh, pretty sure that's all we got here. Yep. Let's, uh, let's actually like look at the. Sit down right here. Maybe we should look at the the aquarium with close audition as well. Were the fish any different? <laughs> oh God! Wait. They weren't. They're not here. The fish are gone. They're just not here. Uh... There's a huge tank here, but there aren't any fish inside. Hmm. Living things can't be seen through postcognition. Doesn't have that ability. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, oh, the lamp was like knocked over too. Oh, the lamp's light is pointed at the table. It probably wasn't turned on at the time. Hmm. I don't see anything suspicious. Doesn't look. Doesn't seem like the lamp is related to the case. God, nothing is related to the case. Okay, let's look at the projector. Uh... The projector is installed in the center of the bookcase. It wasn't on when the corpse was found. You'll never reach it, Master. I'll check it out for you. Well, did you find anything unusual? Nope. Everything is extremely usual and unrelated to the case. Alright. Uh, we can use the switch on the projector uh... right now. There's a switch for the projector on the desk. Looks like it was set to off when the corpse was found. Which means... I mean, surely the, the, weird, the sky projection has to have some kind of relation to the case, right? It's so, like, weird. All right, let's uh, go over here then and check that out. I want to see like maybe post cognition now like this. No, nothing. Really? All right, well let's look at the door then. Oh yeah, I should probably check the corpse. Oops, silly me. I completely didn't even remember to do that. Cause of death here appears to be strangulation. As well. Again, same thing. Well, a lot more scratch marks this time. And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Yep. Oh, but on a closer look. Oh, there's a different mark, like a cut with a sharp a object. Left by a thin string on the back of his neck. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. There are two different types of string marks in the box. String, okay then. Was he strangled twice? Oh, uh, strangulation is really uncomfortable. I don't want to then, think about it. I don't like it. only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. Yeah, let's keep that, I guess.
What else we got? The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His uh -huh. appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. Uh. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. But along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church forest. All right, well... I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. Probably Perhaps good. feel no responsibility. Yeah. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. They probably don't feel bad, since, you know, they, they were willing to do that anyway. Is that really the case? Although I suppose maybe they didn't... who knows. Wait... This is Probably hard. didn't expect him to actually end up dying. I don't know. Maybe. What? Did you the find pixelated something? pink blood. Why is the blood pixelated? That's weird. Look closely. The what is it? The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. And that's important because the length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. The ones on the legs are clearly much sturdier. What do you mean? The nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. The other ones are just like stuck there, kind of. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. But why? Why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? Yeah, like. That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. It's all pixely. No, that's not it. What? What? What is it? What's weird about the blood? trying to figure it out what's what's so weird about the blood well yeah I mean the upper body doesn't like yeah the upper body doesn't seep into the floor the nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways okay but the upper torso wounds are oh vertically down toward his waist that means he was nailed okay so the nails on the torso were put like when he was standing up and then Th and then he got, then like the culprit nailed him to the floor through the legs, and that's why. Maybe the blood flows differently between the. That's upper probably and it, I think. Body. Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. Yeah, that's definitely it. <laughs> that's disturbing. All right. Yeah, I think I got that. I think I got it. The, the the upper nails were probably put in there when he was standing up. And that's why, and then he was pinned to the floor by the legs, I guess. Probably. Alright, that should be it. Anything else? Oh God, what else is there? I guess the door? Or something? This is... The door to the study. We left it open just in case. Hmm. It's always good to be wary of sudden attacks. Never let your guard down. Right, got it. It's because of the teaching of yours, truly. You're welcome, master. All right, the vent. That's a vent. Wait, what? There is a vent, but that's a it's vent. Too small for a person to fit through. Yeah, no way to get it's in also there. also screwed shut from the inside. It seems impossible to remove. Oh, what's this now? What? Master, what's what? I discovered something. There's what? nothing behind this vent. Sense. Like something scraped against it. There's legitimately nothing behind this vent. Look, it's just the wall. <laughs> something scraped against it? Oh, yeah. But given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. Halara, uh, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 Xian. Oh my god. You're charging me for it? Charging me to, <laughs> charging me to confirm something we already know. I just... But yeah. The marks in the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? That might be the same string that got all those marks on the body, but... Hmm. It shouldn't even what, be visible how would that from work? perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. <laughs> yeah! Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. See? I told you I'm useful! I do way more than just float around. Yeah. <laughs> You also you make weird. Weird really... remarks. I'm getting a headache.
All right. Uh, wait, we should use post mission here too, just in case. Uh, yeah, there's nothing, nothing interesting to see here, I'm pretty sure. Cool. Okay. So, is that it? Or... Nope, there's still something more. Wait, did we check everything in the corpse? Oh yeah, I should probably, like, look at this without post mission. True. This is where the first witness found the body. The bloodstains are still here. Considering the amount of blood, the victim was probably killed here, right? It appears. It seems very light. Is there anybody... But clearly... Okay. Hold on. Is there anywhere else here that has, like... What is with this weird sky projection? This is definitely important. There's no... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, those are nail marks on the wall. I see that. Hang on, I'm gonna switch that off. Wait. Those are nail marks on the wall. Like, clearly, right? Like, you're seeing this? Hang on. Uh, I want to switch off the projection so I can look at that. Look, there's clearly, like... Look at this! Look! Can I not investigate those? Am I actually just not allowed to look at that? Like, come on, it's such, like, obvious evidence. Maybe here? Maybe I have to go this way. Look at it! Really? You're not letting me investigate that. Alright, fine. Is there anything else? There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Uh, let's talk to Halara, maybe they can Halara's help me. Halara's hands are smaller and softer than I thought. You're really thinking about that right now? Considering Halara's strength, I thought they would be bulkier. Master, is holding hands all it takes to get you hot and heavy? You're making me sad. I love shooting on these little sprites. No. Though I am curious. We're is still on that. Is Halara a man or a woman? What's wrong? Is something bothering you? Not at all. I guess it'd be pretty rude to ask now. Alright, that does not help with the investigation one bit. Okay. Right, there has to be something with this projector. Come on, this is so suspicious. Let's look at the projector without postcognition. That's right. There's a projector installed in the center of the bookcase. I'd like to take a look, but I can't reach it. That's right. Um, Halara, could you please take a look around the projector? Very well. Sure, give me a moment. The projector is pretty dusty. It doesn't seem to have been used since before the, inc the incident. It's probably got nothing to do with the case. Okay, is that it? What? So the projector actually just doesn't mean anything? What is with that weird thing on the wall, then? What have we, what have we not checked yet? Okay, we haven't checked the static books without, like, okay. Oh! Two extraordinarily thick books are stacked on the desk. These books are in great condition, aside from some dust. They look completely untouched. It's me. You probably want it to seem knowledgeable. They haven't been moved for a while. They're probably not related to the case. All right. Oh my God! What can we end? When is this over? Have we looked at everything here? Post cognition. Can we like see the vent in post cognition? We can see. Okay, the door. Was well, this really it? The door here can only be okay. used with a key. However, there is only the master key. No spares exist. The scenario resembles the locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. Okay. This is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. But there is one difference. The key was found under, under the body the corpse. Oh, maybe the nails were actually. <sighs> no, 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 because that doesn't line up with bloodstains. So maybe that, that that's why the the, uh, the nails on the upper body were like not pinned to the floor. Maybe just because thing. I don't know. If the culprit wanted to hide the key be behind the corpse, they... I don't know. Under the corpse. But we can't move the corpse in the past. Well, so we can like we can't confirm if that's true. Maybe if we like look under it and squint really hard, we can see the key. Post cognition isn't all powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. I have a crime scene photo taken back then in my jacket pocket. No detail has slipped past my efforts. You just have that, right? <laughs> oh, 
There it is. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Garfield. Huh? What's this? Wait, not that one. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Aww. They have a soft size. That's cute. Oh, this is it. Yeah, there's the key. All right. The key's near the middle of his back. <laughs> but can this photo be trusted? Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? The peacekeepers acknowledged the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. Yay, we're growing. Was that a compliment? Probably. Is that really all it takes to please you? <laughs> also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god, the stick man. That are those triangles supposed to be like the dolls? But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? I mean, you know, it's always useful. Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? Oh, well, Halara has a soft side. Cute. That's nice. Hey, new key. And another one. Alright, now that should be it then. I hope that's the end. Because I don't I cannot think of what else Oh my god, it's not. It's not over. I can't think of what okay, this is the only place that's not like check green yet, so. Maybe there's still something here? No. Post cognition? Have we not checked this place in post cognition yet? Oh, the doll! God. Hi. Hello. There's only one doll nailed to the wall. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Oh yeah, but all of the dolls this time are nailed to the floor, so it doesn't make any difference, really. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls. Because of the because paintings? Because of all the bookshelves in the way? Maybe? Wait. This doll has both eyes gouged out. God, that's creepy. Did the culprit do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. But it's kind of creepy cute. It's not cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. That sounds like a god tier prank, but also uh, creepy as hell. Why I would, would you want to <laughs> do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. Okay. The so texture what looks does cheap, that but mean? Also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. Those eye holes definitely it's like have something. Oh no! Don't but don't come closer. <laughs> Stop! They're staring into my soul. Huh? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. It looks like a string rubbed against it. I thought, wait, I don't see any mark. How did this mark get here? I don't see it. But I'm gonna believe you. <laughs> Alright then. Looks like there's oh, that's what those nail holes. Wait, why was the doll removed? Wait, the doll was removed. Why? And... Okay, that explains the nails, but... Alright then. Well, that's the end. Let's do it. The doll was removed after the act. Huh. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Huh? Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? Oops. I haven't. Wait a minute. So where did the killer get out from then? That's basically how... We solved the locked room mystery in the last crime scene with the vent, but how did the killer get out of the crime scene this time? I'm gonna try thinking about it, because I do want to I do want to try and solve it myself. There's no way to solve it with what we have. How was the room locked? Hmm. It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. All right, all right, hang Unless on. You'd like to hire Gotta me think about to this. For you. It won't come cheap. I'll figure it out myself. It's really all about the money with Halara. 
The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Why are you even gonna get money anyway? Now, let us be swift. Wait, I haven't figured it out though. On Hold on. Crime scene. Well, all right. Wait. wait. Well, uh, we will examine the next crime scene in the next episode because this is getting long. We're making progress in the investigation. I still haven't figured out what uh, this this weird sky projection is creeping me out. I feel like it has to have something to do with the case, but they're ignoring it, so I'm just going to ignore it too. So, next time we're going to move on to the very last crime scene, which I completely forgot what it was. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, so until then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye!